I just realized that this month marks 10 years that I've been making YouTube videos. Reference here, this cringe video. Hi YouTube, and welcome to Blueprint DIY. The purpose of this video is to introduce myself and to let you know what you can expect to see on this channel. <laughs> yeah, so we have come a long way and to celebrate, I'm sharing 50 of you guys' favorite type of upcycles, jean upcycles, so let's do it. All right, we're gonna kick it off with tops. How do you turn your old jeans into tops? And I will say before we get into this, every single thing that I mentioned today, it has a full step-by-step -step slower tutorial. You can reference the description box below. I have them all listed in the same order that I'm about to mention them to make it super easy. First, let's talk about one of you guys' favorite jean tops that I made, and it is this butterfly crop top that I made for myself. Um, it was something that I found on Pinterest. I love the little butterfly sleeves and actually I didn't know whether I was gonna be able to make it or not. So I decided to try it out first on my daughter who was a lot younger then. There she is right there. She loved that top. So we're twinning and it was right before Mother's Day. So that was really cool. All right, next up is a recent one where I took some jeans. This was another actually Pinterest inspired one. I took the jeans and I wanted to make this like garter style belt. And so I cut them, added some D-rings and everything like that. But the reason it goes in this category rather than accessories is because I also added some clips so that I can connect the little garter straps and make it into a top. You guys went crazy about that one. And I appreciate all the love because I really, really love this top. All right, next up, if you just want a denim accent to a t-shirt, here's a way to do that. I love when the whole corset thing came out and they're still very much out a couple of years ago I added just a little under corset to this t-shirt and this is still one of my favorites still in my closet still wear it um, out and for videos and it's definitely not difficult so give that one a try and next up is the top that I have on this is actually one of my early jean up cycles I love the flat fail seam of jeans and this is the flat fail seam off of 25 pairs of jeans now before you think I'm wasteful I've been using the rest of those jeans ever since. Even today, I still use those jeans rather than going and buying new jeans from the thrift store or from my closet. But I took all of those things, put them together, and created something completely unique. This was actually even before I had a heavy duty sewing machine. So it was touch and go at some points, but I still was able to create this with basic sewing skills and a basic sewing machine. So yeah. All right, so next up is something that's very special to me. This actually showed during Houston Fashion Week um, in 2019. It's denim that's added to the back of a blazer. I really, really like some things to look super deconstructed Constructed. And personally in upcycling, I like the look of being able to tell what something was before um, you upcycled it. And this jacket is really my homage to that. So if you are interested, I do have a couple of these on the site still. So definitely check out blueprintsignature.com for that. And next up during the summertime, bandana tops were hot. So I decided to create a denim bandana top. This was made out of the legs of some old jeans. You know, when you do cutoffs and you want to make shorts, what do you do with the legs? So I decided to take the legs of some old cutoff jeans and make a denim bandana top. Now I do have a no sew and a sewing version of this in the same tutorial. And I love this one, it's super versatile to style. You can style it dressed up or dressed down. So yeah, definitely check that out. And the last top is actually a denim bralette. I had a pair of overalls that I decided to separate and do a top with the top of the overalls. And you guys told me to make it in denim, and so I did. I used the top of the overalls and I decided to take some old jeans that was actually a failed um, denim project. And I used that material, just followed the scraps of what I had and created this amazing denim bralette with the I'm the blueprint on the back. And I use that statement because all of us really are the blueprint for our own style. I mean, you can't tell me what my style should be, neither can I tell you what your style should be. So we're all the blueprint. So yeah. And this thing layers over things and layers under things. So, so good. So good. So yeah, this is definitely a staple in my wardrobe now. All right. Next up is a section that's especially for all of my no sew people out there. I know you guys love to upcycle, but you don't want to sew. So here's some solutions for you. The first one is actually very easy. It is a dupe for a very expensive pair of jeans that's going around right now. And all you have to do 
is go to the thrift store, find a pair of high waist wide jeans. I specifically like Gloria Vanderbilt for this and cut them on the thighs, throw them in the washing machine and dryer and you are done. You have the exact same thing for literal pennies in comparison. And did you know that you can take a regular pair of jeans and use bleach or better yet dye remover and then dye them any color that you want? If you are into the colored jeans trend, then definitely give this a try. There's no sewing involved and I had really good results. And next up, if you're into printed jeans, here's a solution for you. I wanted cow print jeans and I did not want to go out and buy them. So I decided to thrift a pair of white jeans and just take some black fabric paint and paint my cow print. I love how they turned out and they're washable. And you can pick whatever pattern or print you want. For this pair here, I had another Pinterest inspiration and I just decided to take a strip right down the back of the jeans and paint it with different colors. Now, you will see these jeans again later because they were upcycled twice, but at at this point, just adding that little stripe of color to give those jeans some details was exactly what I wanted. And last up, here's a quick no sew project you can do if you have some jeans that are too big for you and you wanna give them a little extra something something. You can take grommets, like the type of grommets that you use for curtains and different things like that, and you can put them on your jeans and then loop a belt through it. For me, I really like having at least one standout piece on, and this is a really simple way to do it. All right, so next up, we have a few skirts and dresses that I've made out of old jeans. The first one is another one that was inspired by something super expensive that when I saw it, I thought to myself, like a lot of times, I can make that. So I already knew how to turn jeans into a skirt. So in that tutorial, I first, of course, showed you how to turn jeans into a skirt and also showed you how you can just add panels in the front and the back and make it into a long skirt. But at the time, I just wanted that curve, something, you know, with a little va va voom. And so I made it into a skirt and then just cut one leg off. And there you have it. Next up is a complete jean remake. I took several pair of more stretchy jeans. This is something you can do with your old skinny jeans if you're not interested in skinny jeans anymore and I turned it into a jumper dress this dress fit like a glove the Pinterest inspiration was really more of an a-line dress but because I did use stretchy denim I decided to go ahead and like and make it fit it so <laughs> I'm glad I did that I love how it turned out and you guys actually showed this video a whole lot of love so I'm assuming you love it too all right so last up I took some jeans and I made a wrap skirt now this skirt is just everything I found some YSL buttons on something else that I had in my stash put these on the skirt and it's just a really simple skirt it just is really a square that is fitted in the waist but it's giving everything it needs to give and if you like jean of cycles and you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing you already seen what type of things we do on this channel so you don't want to miss what we do in the next 10 years so hit that subscribe button all right this next section is about if you just want to take your jeans and alter them in some way to make them exciting to give them some extra detail it's all about that so first up like I was just saying what if you have old skinny jeans and you're not into skinny jeans anymore if you have a pair that's not super super stretchy you can definitely take them and add some panels on the side to make them wide legs or straight legs so you can see these gently go down they're more of like a straight leg slightly wide leg but in a separate tutorial, I also show you how you can take your old jeans and turn them into bell bottoms. Yes, bell bottoms. Bell bottoms are back. I love a good flare leg. And so down by the knee with these, I was able to add a triangle at the bottom and they really weren't long enough. So I was also able to add some extra material at the bottom. It made them funky and really go with that 70s bell bottom style. All right, so next up, if you don't wanna use your sewing machine, but you are a hand sewing girl, why not try adding some embroidery to your jeans? This is something that's really hot right now. I did a single line face drawing on some jeans and these are literally, I get so many compliments whenever I wear these jeans. I've seen a couple of you guys do it. You sent me pictures, DM me on Instagram, and I love to see it. And it really doesn't matter what you want. You could put flowers, you could put whatever you want. And I tell you the truth, I had never embroidered before, and this was my first time, and it was really simple. So just follow the tutorial, and I know you can get it. And 
in that same tutorial, I also made some jeans with fringes on the side. If you are into fringe, think about taking some old jeans, cutting them on the side and adding that to the side of your jeans. Or you can add all types of different fringe. You can actually buy fringe tape. Um, it's like a piece of ribbon that has fringe already on it. Add that to the side of your jeans. Or you can add t-shirt yarn fringe, which I've done in separate videos, um, where you can just cut up t-shirts, add that to the side. I mean, like the opportunities are endless. So definitely, if you get creative with these, definitely send me a message so I can see. All right, so next up, I am a long leg girl. I won't say tall because I'm not tall. I'm only 5'6", but I do have long legs. So that means finding a pair of jeans jeans that are long enough where I would be able to get that nice big cuff at the bottom it's not gonna happen and so I decided to make some and it's just as simple as finding another pair of jeans cutting off the bottom of those jeans and adding it to the bottom of the pair of jeans that you want to have the large cuff and that's it and in this same tutorial I do show you how to simply distress jeans that is one of the easiest no so things that you can do to your jeans cut it wherever you want it cut and then throw it in the washing machine, dry it in the dryer, and you'll have perfect results at the time. All right, so next up is a solution for if you have a pair of low rise and you want to elevate them a little bit. Now, of course, there is skin showing, but you can add panels of fabric, so no worries about that. So I just basically cut the waistband off and moved it up and just connected the two with the belt loops. Like I said, you can add fabric. I know some people said that they were gonna add lace. Some people said they were gonna add extra fabric. Some people said they were gonna add denim. So definitely give that a try if you're interested in taking some low rise and making them mid rise. Now, if you fancy yourself to be a hot tamale, then you might like this next pair. I wanted a pair of frill or rubber ruffle side jeans. I have been seeing these on Pinterest and of course my motto, I can make it. And so I decided to take another pair of jeans and cut out curves out of it and decided to add that only on one side. These jeans literally make me want to go salsa dancing or some type of Latin dancing. So yes, I love these. So next up, I was inspired by the Ragged Priest infringement jeans. And it's basically a layered color block jean where they're taking different levels of jeans and I like this one because you have the opportunity to create a pair, well, a unique pair of jeans, but also a pair of jeans like if they were too short for you, you can just keep going with the layers. Now you can't just use two jeans if that's the case because of course you shorten them every time you make a seam. But if you add a third pair, then you can make these jeans as long as you need them to be. But I just used two pair of jeans and I just stacked them. And I think these are completely unique and something that you wouldn't see every day. All right. So so next up is a simple little tutorial. I just really want to give some interest to a pair of elastic waist jeans. I don't know about you, but I see these so much at the thrift store. And yes, they're from a day gone past, but I'm not mad at elastic waist pants right now, the way my life is going. So I value comfort. And so I thought, hey, let me try to just give these a little interest. And this was a simple project because the zipper is exposed. It makes it a ton easier. Trying to hide the zipper is where all the trouble comes in. So so doing an exposed zipper is really simple and you should definitely give it a try. All right, so I have been seeing cargo pants everywhere, everywhere. And as a matter of fact, recently me and my daughter went to ThriftCon and we paid $60 for a pair of jeans very similar to the ones that I'm about to show you. And all I did was take some military surplus pants and add pockets from jeans. It's a quick and easy way to make cargo looking pants. Just take pockets. You can take pockets from any place, but a lot of times we have leftover scraps from jeans and the pockets, if you cut off the bottom, you need use the bottom, whatever, take the pockets, put it on something else, layer them for a really, really unique look. And next up is a project that I did for Halloween a few years ago. I wanted to do this Cardi B look and turn myself into Cardi B for Halloween but more than anything, I wanted to make something that I knew that I could wear past Halloween. And so I created this sick patchwork jacket and jeans. Um, it's a lot of layering of jeans. The great thing about it is that it's really layered on top of a basic denim jacket and jeans, and then you cut away what you don't want. And so I really like that because it's not reinventing the wheel. You already have the silhouette of the clothes that you want to create, but you're able to make it look super destructed and super patchy and I love that. All right, so next up, while we are talking about these elastic waist jeans that you see at the thrift store a lot, I decided to take some and make them into shorts. I took the bottom part, which was the hem, and added it on top 
top of that elastic waist and scrunched it in so that it looked like paper bag waist shorts. Now, I know like my body type because I have a short torso, I don't really wear paper bag waist too much, but I really, really like how these turned out. I was able to use the leg pieces and make a belt for it. So I think those turned out really cute. And of course, like I said, because I have long legs, I have to make them longer sometimes, actually a lot of times. And so I decided a long time ago that this was a really cool way of making my jeans longer instead of just adding a panel, which I do have a tutorial for that right here. <laughs> we'll insert it here. You could just add a panel to your jeans at the bottom and that is a way to make them longer. But in a separate tutorial, I decided to angle it and you can angle it in and you can angle it out depending on what type of silhouette or illusion you want to give on your legs. And I really, really like these. These were a staple in my wardrobe for a really, really long time. I don't know where they are right now but I think I want to go try to find those and then one of you guys absolute favorites is these crisscross jeans this is another way you can make your jeans longer I took a second pair of jeans and cut out strips and made loops and decided to loop them with one another all along the jeans. Whenever I wear these on my channel or out in public, I definitely get compliments on these. I've actually had a lot of people asking to make them. I may try to get some on the side, but these definitely worth giving a try. All right, in this next session, we are going to take our jeans and make accessories with them. You don't just have to make clothes, you can also make accessories. And the first one is this tote bag. Tote bags are so popular right now, and you can really make any type of tote bag. I love the Marc Jacobs tote bag. We've actually made a furry one like that. But you can take denim and make one of those. And here is a tote bag tutorial where I've actually used the denim in a separate color to make seam binding on the edge. I really like that. And I even use old belts as the straps. I think that's a really nice touch. And as we're getting close to gift giving time, you can also make makeup bags with your old jeans. I really like this solution. I still have one of these makeup bags and it's a great idea of something quick that you can make to give to other people. I also made this quick and easy drawstring bag and I was able to take the cutout of a t-shirt that I didn't want to get rid of. I really like the graphic so I added it to the bag so that way I was able to keep the graphic and use it in something that I was going to use on a regular basis rather than just having a t-shirt that I never wore. Alright so next up my daughter asked me to make a denim bucket hat for her so of course I had to come through with that and this is what we came up with. A patchwork denim bucket hat made out of old jeans. Now of course you know I had to make one for myself because I am a big Adidas fan. Mine was made out of old Adidas, but you can definitely use your old jeans here as well. And the last accessory and one of my absolute favorite jean upcycles is this patchwork jean and Adidas track pants combination that I turn into a backpack. It combines everything that I love to upcycle. Adidas stuff, men's dress shirts, as well as jeans. Those are my favorites. Those are the big three for me. It was probably one of my more adventurous projects, but I... Oh, I am so glad I conquered it. All right, recently a subscriber wrote to me and she was saying that her son had a bunch of jeans that he wasn't wearing, some with steel tags on, and she wanted to be able to not lose that money that she paid buying those jeans and be able to use them for herself. Now those jeans are bigger than her, so here's several amazing ways to take jeans in. First one is you can simply take those jeans, cut open the zipper part, overlap it, sew it back down, and now you have crossover jeans. I am super glad I did these. I recently styled them with a crop denim jacket. Absolutely still love them. And as a matter of fact, Kalana Barfield Brown just came out with a couple of pairs like this in her Target collection. And the great thing is, is this not only works on jeans, but also on dress pants. All right, and next up, if you simply want to take in just the waistband of jeans, and if you don't want to sew it at the end, you can just add safety pins. You just slit open the back of the waistband, slip in some elastic, make sure it fits you in the waist, and cut away the elastic and secure it. That's it. Now you never have to have a gap in the back of your jeans again. And next up, you can take the front of one pair of jeans and the back of another pair of jeans and put them together. And not only do you have a cool pair of jeans, but because you're taking the front and the back and putting them together, it naturally decreases the size of the jeans. So this one is more for if you only have like maybe a few inches that you need to take them in. But I think it's a really cool way. If you wanna take some jeans in and make them look unique, this is definitely the tutorial for you. All right, next up is another way to take in your jeans. Remove the pockets and then just try them on, pinch that seam, and 
just take them in. Now, you can do it so that it's exposed and you get fray on the outside, or you can do it so that it's going inward, the scene is in, and you don't see anything. So the pocket's back on and you are done. And then next up, you can also, if you want to just take in the legs of your jeans, you can do an exposed scene that I call the pony fray. Take the seams up the front and then you are going to put on some Netflix and use a seam ripper and take out the extra material so you get that nice white denim fray on the front. And especially if you're using men's jeans or women's jeans that don't have that stretch, oh it looks so good put it in the washing machine after that and just let it fluff up and it just absolutely looks amazing that's why i call it the pony fray all right so next up is a way to take your jeans in and turn them into like these ruffly shorts i saw these last summer and i really really wanted them and so i was like okay let me see if i can get kind of close with a pair of jeans that are too big for me so i took the waistband off and added some pleats up at the top to give it that ruffle effect give it some more volume at the hips which i don't have hips so this this is a really good solution for me or if you do have hips and you want to make more room for your hips this is a good solution and then also to take that waistband in because once I was finished I was able to cut off some of that waistband and add it back in so that it does fit my waist you can do this to regular jeans as well as like I said cut it off and make shorts in the summertime next up is very similar to that except you don't have to take off the waistband all you're doing is pinching the jeans on the side especially if you have jeans that are way too big for you just pinch on the side fold it over and add a button or add a stitch whatever and just secure it on the front I've been seeing these and there's they sell for a lot of money it really remind me of riding pants and so I really like them for that and it's really easy so yeah I like that and next is the side-by-side -side color block now we did a front and back color block but you can also do this side by side if you want to do this quick and dirty just cut them open and put them back together sew the seams together and you're done all right so this is the section that most of us need it. we have the perfect pair of jeans and there comes a point where they shrink and I know they don't really shrink but that's what I tell myself and that's what we can all tell ourselves to make ourselves feel better <laughs> um, but they just won't fit anymore so what do you do with the jeans if you want to keep them this was another Pinterest inspired thing that I saw I really wanted to recreate these I knew I could and it's like this paper bag waist pair of patchwork just epicness that I saw so I decided to take this pair of two small jeans add panels on the side add a top part to give it that paper bag waist effect and these oh they're they're just epic just epic talking about a standout pair of jeans this is it and next up along that same lines you guys know that I really like to be unique in my solutions and so I did a whole series of pants in one video where I was trying to take the jeans out and in this one right here once again with that same thought of adding a panel on the side I already told you guys that I'm an Adidas fan and so I decided to add the Adidas stripes from a pair of track pants on the side of jeans and then even cut out a little part of the pocket part and put the adidas logo right there these are some of my absolute favorites and i think it's a really good solution to take out pants and along those same lines you can also use the track pants that have the snaps on the side and this one was really creative because it's the same idea but it gave it a different look at the end and so I took some red snap up track pants I used to find these a lot at the thrift store not so much anymore they must have become more popular but I took just the snap size added them on the side and that way at the bottom if I wanted them to have a more flare look and the open bottom jeans and pants are really big right now so I would highly recommend this one right now um, that that you can open it up at the bottom and give it that flare look Ugh, so so good and then I'll interject this one this one is a newer one you can take those same snap side track pants and add that to the front of your jeans too you could actually technically do it to the back and that's what I like to get you guys to think about like okay how what are the ways that we can take something out you can add it to the side you can add it to the front you can add it to the back you can add it to the inner crotch thing those are all the places we can add but it's all about what we add and here adding the snaps to that front side gives that a vibe 
Bob Bob Boom look if you decided to wear it open. But you can also, if you want to be more conservative, you can also close it. And then it just gives you more options of ways you can wear it. And next up, I decided to go completely rogue and add a flare skirt on the sides of the jeans. But this one was also like more of a designer elevated look. This is something that you would see that would cost $50 million. And I just really, really love these. And lastly, we can tame it down just a little bit and take two pairs of jeans and use the front and the back of one pair and the sides of another pair in order to create one larger pair of jeans. And if you add a triangle panel like I did here, you can also make them flare. I pulled these out not too long ago as well because I saw something very similar. And so I just love how you get to see these things come and go, come and go, and how a lot of these things although we think oh I made them they really never go out of style let me know which one was your favorite piece which ones do you plan on doing and as always I have other videos for you to watch right here and don't forget to subscribe because you definitely want to see what I do next and if you made it to this point of the video I am sending you virtual hugs and love through the internet all right I'll see you in the next one bye